Friends, we are gathered together in the sight of God to witness and bless the joining together of Kelsey, Elizabeth, Fabian, and Joel Glenn Polk Jr. in Christian marriage. Glenn and Kelsey come to give themselves to one another in this holy covenant. I can't believe the day is finally here. I don't know where to begin. Four years ago, when we started hanging out, I had no idea that I was taking shots with my better half. Now I can't imagine a life without you. We've said it before, and I don't think we were wrong when we say that you were put in my life for a reason. We've had so many awesome adventures already, and I can't wait to see what we get into next. First stop, Maui. I love you and I like you. You're my person forever. Hubs. Glenn, today, tomorrow, and every day after, I choose you. In you, I have found my husband, my greatest love, and my best friend. I vow to embrace your remarkable light and use it as a guide into our uncertain future. I vow to sometimes take out the trash, even though we both know that you're better at it. I vow to push you, support you, and dream with you every single day. When we hit hardships, as we have in the past, I promise to walk with you side by side through it. And if you cannot walk, I promise to carry you. I vow to be your number one fan, even when you forget the words. I vow to love you selflessly and authentically till death do us part. I ask you both now to declare your intention to enter into union with one another through the grace of Jesus Christ, who calls you into union with himself. Kelsey, will you have Glenn to be your husband to live together in holy marriage? Will you love him, comfort him, honor and keep him in sickness and in health and forsaking all others be faithful to him as long as you both shall live? If so say, I will. <laughs> All right. Glenn, will you have Kelsey to be your wife? Although I think you probably just answered that. <laughs> to live together in holy marriage. Will you love her, comfort her, honor, and keep her in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others be faithful to her as long as you both shall live? If so, say, I will. I will. I, Glenn, take you, Kelsey. I, Glenn, take you, Kelsey. To be my wife. To be my wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better or for worse. For better or for worse. For richer or for poorer. For richer or for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Until we are parted by death. Until we are parted by death. This is my solemn vow. This is my solemn vow. Glenn, I give you this ring. Glenn, I give you this ring. As a sign of my vow. As a sign of my vow. And with all that I am. And with all that I am. And all that I have. And all that I have. I honor you. I honor you. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. And of the Holy Spirit. Cool. <laughs> Good luck, Mary. You're gonna have to do it. There you go. <laughs> That's not coming off. <laughs> Just purposely. <laughs> Now that Glenn and Kelsey have given themselves to each other by solemn vows, with the joining of hands, the giving and receiving of rings, the receiving of a special blessing, I announce to you their husband and wife in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, those whom God has joined together, let no one put asunder. Amen. Kelsey and Glenn, you may kiss each other. Get over here. <laughs> I would like to introduce you to Mr. Jesus Kelsey, I can't imagine anyone more perfect for my baby brother, Glenn. I've seen how happy you make him, and I'm so glad he has found such an amazing woman to share his life with. Wishing you a lifetime of love and happiness. Cheers. Kelsey, from the moment you walked into our lives, I knew you were the one for Glenn. You are the sweetest, most kind, most kind-hearted, sassy, and sometimes terrifying person I've ever met. You love our little group almost as much as you love Glenn. 
and you felt like my sister since the day I met you. I love you, kid. So I've uh, considered Glenn my brother since we were three years old, and I managed to invite myself over to his house at least a thousand times in the next 15 years after that. So I feel like I know him about as well as you can know somebody. Uh, and I know four years ago when he called me, there was something different. And I'm excited to have Kelsey and be with you guys when you start your new family. So. I couldn't have pictured anybody better. For my best friend, I can stand up here and say that we are truly in the presence of true love. So. <laughs> So um, from today and all the days that follow, I hope that you continue to live your best lives wherever that may be, but preferably like super close so that our kids can be best friends. Um, don't forget about your marriage when life gets busy. Um, it's something that you have to work at every single day, but if you put in the time, it is so worth it. Always remember to choose one another above all else and let no man separate what God has brought together. So here is to the new Mr. and Mrs. Glenn Falk. I love y'all. Cheers.